So I am running out of room again. I just cannot seem to keep myself organized. I don't even know why I bother trying anymore. But, uh, so anyway, we got to figure this out to where I, I put a four by six spacer up here to mimic this frame. We're going to take a level line across the bottom here. So, because I want this to sit flat on the ground. I don't want this point. I don't want to have to try to get logs up over that. Now this may seem a little steep of a ramp. And if I was loading by hand, I would very much agree that this is way too steep. But I think for using, I mean, that's a 300, or a three, yeah. That's a 3,000 pound winch, and I'm obviously not going to be hauling any logs that are 3,000 pounds onto the sawmill. I don't think anyway. A lot of times your log weights, when you see people talk about them, a lot of times they're grossly exaggerated. And you can find, you can find the average weights of green species of wood all over the internet, and you can get quite a bit of uh, agreement there as to what a lot of them weigh. We've covered it before in the timber framing series. To where some of these beams, you know, you think, oh, geez, that must weigh a thousand pounds. Well, some of them were probably 500 pounds, but uh, a lot of them were in the 300 pound range when they were green. Now I'm talking fresh off the sawmill, but I kind of have my plan in place of how I want this to come up and have the log drop over the other side. Now that means I'm going to have to move my eye hook maybe a little bit further into the mill trailer itself instead of right on the outside because I'm still going to have the same situation of once I have that looped around I may have that same situation of it's still not going to carry it over the top but we'll see how it lands out we can put that eye anywhere we want we can put a couple of them on and we'll just go from there so I'm going to get our level line we'll get this cut we'll get this traced out we'll cut it weld it I got some other plans for making it stronger. We'll just see what happens.
Shaky camera. Sorry, guys. It took me a week and a half to build those two little ramps. 
Unreal. Yeah. I'm working out of town again this entire week, and who knows? Looks like uh, going to be working out of town quite a bit coming up, but that's all right. We'll uh, we'll squeeze it in when we can. But anyway, I'm getting to a point now where I'm getting ready to get the uh, the mill rails on this trailer, and what we're going to do. There's going to be three mill rails, three sets on there. Uh, they're going to total the 21 feet. That's why we made the trailer 21 feet long. But that last rail that's on the mill right now, we're actually going to cut that off of there. Because remember that angle iron is not exactly three inches, it dives. So what we're going to do, we're going to end up cutting that section of track in half. And that's going to be our extension rails that we're going to mount to both ends. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do a hinge type system or what I'm going to do, but it'll have legs that'll go to the ground for stabilization, and those will also hinge. But the idea there is I want to be able to get the full 21 feet of cut on this trailer, which honestly is as long as most people are ever going to need. I mean, I could probably get away with 16 feet and be just fine as far as length of cut. But when you're cutting anything like that and you think your longest piece you're going to need is going to be 16 feet, when you're dealing with logs, you want it to be longer than that because you want to have enough room to cut imperfections out. But uh, those aren't the best ramps in the world. Throw together. I do not like welding thin metal. I have a hell of a time with it. If you couldn't tell, tack, 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 burn a hole in it. Fill the hole in, make a bigger hole, fill it in some more, finally get it, and then it looks like crap. Probably what I'll do if anybody asks me, I'm just going to blame my five-year-old daughter. Say, yeah, she must have welded that when I was at work or something. I think that's the best we can do. But we made a couple of hooks so it could set over top of the actual mill rail itself. And what we want to do, you guys will see when we load the first log on this, I'm going to be able to wrap my winch cable around the log to an eye on the trailer. And I want it to come up and over because what I want it to do is roll into the mill itself without having that awkward stopping point trying to get it over the top. And uh, hopefully with that right there, hopefully we can accomplish that. So I'm sure there's going to be some things I can approve, but now we are getting to the point of, okay, we need to get this done because I need to get to the woods. I planned on being there by now and just delay after delay. You guys know how it is. You're trying to get a project kicked off and well, when you have a full-time job and everything else, and I have a boiler to put in for one of my brother-in-laws. Just constant stuff getting sprung on us here. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was not a lot of progress, but like I say in a lot of videos, I just bring you guys along for whatever I'm doing, whatever we're into. When it comes to this stuff, little progress, major progress, it is what it is. So have a good night, everybody, and I'll catch you on the next one.